Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so get started on the right foot with these five incredible smoothie recipes. So to get started, I'm going to share just a couple tips to make your smoothie making run smoothly. Right? First up, you want to use frozen fruit. Now the reason is you don't want to be watering down your smoothie with a whole bunch of ice. So freeze your fruit yourself. I like to freeze my fruit in a single layer on a baking sheet. This prevents it from all clumping and sticking together. Next, when it comes to using your blender, be sure to add your liquid first near the blades. That's going to help your blender run a little more smoothly. Finally, don't be afraid to pre-package your smoothies and leave them in the freezer. These are great because all you need to do in the morning is roll out of bed, pour these into your blender with a little bit of yogurt and some juice, and you're off to the races. Breakfast is served. I love this sunny, tropical, yellow smoothie to start off my week. It's perfect for a gloomy Monday morning to get you going. So we're going to start with a half a cup of pineapple juice. Now if you don't have pineapple juice, it's fine. You could also use orange juice or even almond milk in this recipe would work just as well. To that, we are going to add a half a cup of Greek yogurt. This is going to add a little bit of much needed protein into our smoothie. Then we're going to top it with some tasty fruits like some frozen pineapple, some mango, and some tasty banana. Finally, we're going to hit it with a little bit of grated ginger just to liven it all up and press blend. Monday morning breakfast, taken care of. I call this my orangey glad it's not Monday anymore, Tuesday smoothie. We're starting with some orange juice, about half a cup. To that we're going to add a half a cup of Greek yogurt for protein, one peeled orange frozen, half a peach also peeled and frozen, and finally one shredded carrot. I love sneaking vegetables into these smoothies when no one's looking. You'll never even taste it. Come hump day, I'm ready for something bright and beautiful like this ruby red smoothie that features watermelon and strawberries and fresh raspberries. It's absolutely delicious. We're going to mix it all up with a little bit of almond milk and some Greek yogurt. I'm using vanilla flavored Greek yogurt for this recipe. And boom, there's breakfast, baby. By the time Thursday rolls around, you're stressed out to the max, or at least I know I am. What better way to start your day than with a whole lot of antioxidant goodness? This purple smoothie is so delicious and features some of the most antioxidant rich foods. Into our blender, we are adding a half a cup of pomegranate juice. If you don't have pomegranate juice, cranberry juice will also work. Then we are going to add some vanilla flavored Greek yogurt. We've got some frozen blueberries and frozen blackberries and even some beautiful freshly pitted cherries. When they're in season, buy a whole ton Pip them and then freeze them so you can use them all year long. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations, you made it to Friday. Now, in order to prepare for the epic night you have ahead of you, probably best we get some greens into us early. So I'm going to show you my tasty Friday green goodness smoothie. All right, so it starts with about a half a cup of OJ, half a cup of vanilla flavored Greek yogurt. To that, we are going to add two peeled and frozen kiwis and then a whole avocado. Trust me on this one, it's going to add some creaminess and some texture. You're going to absolutely love it. Now, believe it or not, you can freeze avocados. You'll never be able to eat it on its own again, but it is great in smoothies. And then we're going to add a handful of greens and you won't even taste them because of this beautiful kiwi. Also keep in mind that smoothies are an excellent place to improvise. So once you've got these basic recipes down, you can add all sorts of things to them like protein powder or hemp seeds or chia seeds, any kind of greens. You can sneak those in, you won't even know they're there. These are incredibly delicious and packed full of nutrients. I hope you'll give them a try and let me know how it goes. Be sure to tweet me or Instagram me a photo of what you come up with in your own kitchen. I love hearing from you. And be sure to subscribe for more great recipes just like these. Happy Monday, happy Tuesday, happy Wednesday, happy Thursday, happy Friday. And come Saturday, it's time for Eggs Benedict. I have a video for that too.